It's not every day we get a special award, but today we've got one. Hey, -o, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, I've got 13 mods for you. For all platforms, we have four new and seven updates. At PC and Mac, we have two updates. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Swiss Future Farm Special Award right here. This is Oxygen David's version of the Swiss Future Farm, which was entered in the Farming Simulator 19 mod contest and won the real life replica of the Swiss Future Farm. This is a replica of real life farm and surroundings, real life PDA and map, custom lighting engine XML, new water shader. You've also got animated objects, custom soil texture, distance, grass, ground textures, etc. Over 50 HD and new models made by Oxygen David himself. You've got 25 fields with missions from small to medium size, new grass texture created by Oxygen David, and two cell points and a BGA. Now, this has been out on PC for about a year and a half now. Uh, however, it is just now coming out onto consoles. Uh, if you're on PC, you do have a bit of an update. Uh, this is going to be version 1.1 of the map. Update is farm to the present look. Added in tweaked areas, the Swiss Future Farm requested. Added animal, pigs, horses, calves, and cows, and lots of other graphical and gameplay tweaks. Uh, this is not an absolutely massive map. This is... It's fairly, well, it's not tiny by any means, but it's smaller, to be fair. It's much, much smaller. This is your real-life PDA, and here's the map overlaid on top of it. Now, if we click on the outside, you can see we own quite a bit when we start off. We've got field 11, 12, 13, 16. You even have your bell, uh, bell cell point right here, or the bramble uh, spike, spiker, I don't know, the horse area. You've got that right there. You've also got field three and field five as well. So there's not actually a whole ton that you need to buy, at least to start off with. You got plenty, at least to start with, which is really, really good. What do you get in new farmer mode? Well, you get two Valtras, you get a couple Fent tractors, uh, you get your Massey Ferguson, another Fent, another Massey Ferguson, another Fent, quite a few Valtras. Goodness gracious. Well, this takes the cake for the most amount of tractors on a farm, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it does. You've also got the Agco Ideal AT, you know, a Massey, another Massey, Tipper, couple headers, plow, cultivator, a uh, power harrow, direct drill, you get a weeder, mower, bell handlers, you get a manure fork, shovel, bell fork, <laughs> goodness gracious, header trailers, weights, tons of weights, and your horse paddock. This is a really cool map, and if you're wanting to try something new, this might be the map for you. Next new mod for all platforms today is the Fortuna FTM 207.5. This is a Giants mod right here. Giant Software made this and is out now for all platforms. I would have to say they've done a fantastic job. The detail is incredible. The level is was well, absolutely superb. It's exactly what you would expect. Um, yeah, this is a new brand that I'm not familiar with, Fortuna. So this is their first piece of equipment in game. Wheel brands, we have Trailborg, we also have Michelin tires as well, so you can change those up however you would like. Well, it's a tipper at the end of the day. It's got a bunch of stuff, 39,000 liter capacity, $50,500 to buy this. I mean, it's cool. I dig it. I, I really like it. It looks really good. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the New Holland T7 2011 series by DB Modding. It's bad boy right here. Uh, well, main color, it's saying green. Not really sure why, but let's leave it on there just to take a look. 171 horsepower, 330 liters fuel, 31 miles per hour. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg, Midas, Michelin, Nokian. In Trelleborg, we have standard wheel weight. We have a standard two, which kind of sits back with weights there as well. Wide tires, wides with weights, narrow tires, rear twins, twins all the way around. Back to standard in Midas tires, we have standard and a wide tire, Michelin, wide tires, and a Nuckins normal tire. Design, we have standard, left beacon, right beacon, two beacons, or none. Front fenders, yes or no. Uh, front loader attacher, nope. Aha, uh -huh, that's what's going to be that crazy, crazy, crazy color right there. So you could change this up to Onyx. That's going to be the color of all of your front loaders. And then engine setups. We have the 171. We have another 171, but it goes faster. We have the 188. 
which also goes faster. 203 between 43 and 53 kilometers. 212 and back down. So 212 horsepower is as high as this bad boy will go. Though, you get this up to 53 kilometers per hour, which is very nice. And your last new mod for all platforms today sees is Geo Ravensburg Factories. This Geo mod is necessary to play the Ravensburg map with the Factories version and the console on Seasons and that kind of thing. This Geo mod is only compatible with Ravensburg Factory, so do not use it with other maps, even other versions of Ravensburg. Falling Factories mod are supported TMR and Pig Food Production version 1.0.1. That is very important. Placeable factories pack version 2 and seed factory version 2 as well again these are all extremely important uh the weather the growth and the economy corresponding to the standard season settings making our way into mod updates for all platforms today we're going to start with the map la cornella from shaba this is going to be version 2.0.1 the map is compatible with the pellets and eco green factories that came out this week and some adjustments to the fencing system have to the map have been made and an update to the map italy rice XL. This is going to be version 1.001. Solve the problem with cultivated ground terrain texture directions. Next mod update for all platforms today is the powerful spotlights pack from Vanquish 081. This is going to be version 1.5. Added the high altitude model with switch and automatic 360 right here. And then you also have the lower altitude, so the medium right here. Those have been added as well. Plus, you have the version with switch and a manual version automatic you know what i mean next update is to an awesome mod lizard the beast 1000 from agritono this is going to be version 1.1 fix the six by six traction so now there's traction on all six wheels and the optional soft suspension has been added so you can see it gives us a soft suspension for all of these which should give you a little bit more of a uh well, more decent and enjoyable ride. We have an update to the vehicle shelter pack. This is going to be version 1.1. Halls and subdivisions have been enlarged and textures have been adjusted. Your next to last update for all platforms today is the Elmer Super 7 Harrow version 1.1. Fixed a collision issue. And your last mod update for all platforms today is the Crozier HKD 150. This is going to be version 1.1, new icon, and new wheels. As was said, we only have two updates for PC and Mac players today. Your first one is Barrel Production by Zotelzok, version 1.003. Russian translation has been added. And an update to the Real Dirt Color mod, version 1.2. Wheel parts are now loaded in a new way, which allows all wheels and parts to be correctly loaded for independent mode. If a wheel or part did not change color previously, it should now. Also, color revert speed is now slower and configurable via the settings XML file within the mod. The mod Real Mud, mud piles now change the dirt color to mud, and you can drive through water that is lower than the map set water height that will also change the dirt color to mud. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to Chump New, and join the GoAm fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'm still working hard and progressing each day, getting better and better. I appreciate the love and support that you guys have been posting down in the comment section below. Really makes my day. It makes me feel better. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.